Of a 4.8 magnitude quake was centered in northern New Jersey, about 45 miles west of New York City. It is the strongest earthquake felt in this part of the country since 2011. We remember that one. WJZ live at 5 o'clock. Tara Lynch near BWI Thurgood Marshall Airport. And I understand, Terry, you spoke to a passenger who actually had his flight diverted to Richmond today because of the quake. Yes, he was traveling from Charlotte to Baltimore mid-flight. They made the announcement overhead saying they had to land in Richmond as officials at BWI inspected the runway and also looked at the air traffic control tower. No damage was sustained. Everything resumed rather quickly. We also heard from a lot of viewers, a lot of you at home emailing us telling you where you felt the quake. You said pictures were rattling on the walls and you even heard a loud rumble out there. I felt the bed kind of shake a little bit and it was kind of like a, being on a waterbed. Lasted 20, 30 seconds maybe. I thought it was rambunctious kids in the next room. And I was sitting at my vanity table and all of a sudden I felt the shaking and then the whole vanity table began to shake and all the items that were on it. I was so amazed. Marylanders felt a rumble this morning. The 4.8 magnitude earthquake shook people from Bel Air to Reisterstown, Anne Arundel County to northern Cecil County, and Fort Meade to Carroll County. David Lawrence was traveling from Charlotte to BWI today. His American Airlines flight was diverted mid flight to Richmond. They said BWI got affected. They sh that they temporarily shut the airport down and just to for safety reasons, they sent us to Richmond. I've been fine since 5 this morning, so it's been a pretty long day. This quake marks the strongest on the East Coast since 2011, when a 5.8 magnitude earthquake was centered in Virginia. While there aren't any fault lines on the East Coast, ancient faults under the surface cause these quakes. Occasionally, the sort of stresses that you have on those faults, you know, the Earth's crust getting worked up, getting more and more stress, does release. And that release of energy is what causes an earthquake. Friday's earthquake was shocking to most in the region, and some say they want to be prepared in case another quake shakes our area. Be, you know, either in the center of the room or in a doorway where things can't fall on you. Uh, that's probably your best bet because it's going to happen quick. It never crossed my mind to move to a certain room or anything. So that's something that I'm going to consider at this point. There's already been two aftershocks felt in the New York City area today. The U.S. Geological Survey says there's a moderate chance that those aftershocks could continue for the next week. We're now reporting live in Hanover, Tara Lynch, WJZ.